Care to explain how Halbeck lost its missiles? Old news. An accounting error. The missiles. You didn't lose them, did you? Angry, Mr. Thornton? Because of what happened in Saudi Arabia. Oh, it's too political for me. Too geopolitical. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> Mike, can you read me? I'm getting lots of interference. Reading you loud and clear. Where can I find Shahid? It's a little more complicated than that. It's going to require some groundwork and lots of it. Good to see you're eager to get started. Finding Shahid is your primary objective. Trouble is, we don't know his location, but we have three leads. An arms dealer, Nasri, is believed to have sold the missiles to Shahid, and he's currently operating in Saudi Arabia. If you can intercept him, maybe he can tell you where Shahid is, or guide you to the missiles. Got it. What's the next lead? We also tracked down the location of an airfield Shahid used in the past. If you can sneak in and plan a listening device, we may be able to track flight Shahid is using to move through Saudi Arabia. And the third lead? We've got the coordinates of an al Samad detention camp, also used as a stockpile for weapons. We suspect the missiles may be stored there. And why are we playing around? Why not send in the troops and storm the place? We need to make sure the missiles aren't armed. If they are, our aerial assault will be one of the shortest flights in history. We'll want you to go in alone, recon the area, and shut down their radar and communications. Once that's down, we can call in air support and hit the camp hard. No pressure. And no backup. Get used to it. It's the job. You check out your new home yet? It's got some perks you might be interested in. Anything beyond the weapons locker? Thought that might hold your attention. It did? Anything else? A computer with a hub connection so fast you'll feel like you're going back in time. What, to the Stone Age? Please. You can do dossier research, encrypted emails, and if need be, access some of the weapons dealers in the area. That'll be done on your own dime, however, using whatever funds you can find in Saudi Arabia. So if I need a resupply, I'll need to steal money and then contact a dealer myself? We don't want you using the Alpha Protocol accounts with rival terrorists or weapons dealers. That has a habit of getting back to us. And then Congress calls. The weapons locker you already found? Help yourself to what's inside. Just be sure to choose the ammo and armor you think suits the mission. When you're ready to head out, just use the front door or access the missions from the main terminal. I'll have already uploaded all the mission specs to your PDA. You can review them at any time. Alright, so is that it? Westridge. Great. Home sweet home. What's one down there? So every hub has a safe house like this. I forgot about the beer! <laughs> <laughs> it has been a little perfect. while since we recorded. Hey, look. Darcy photoshopped her faces into a still frame of a buddy. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, um... Yeah. So that, Darcy's well, that's not all pretty bad. neat. I like that. That's pretty neat. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. In terms of, I haven't seen a game really do that. That's an ob in world object like that. You always get that one, and then there's some more that are. Um, optional based on how you did the tutorial chapter. That's novel. I like that. Um, yeah, it's these certificates on the wall. You only get these if you do each optional Agent mission. Darcy sent me this for ace in the training course. Is that a mushroom so cloud? Yeah. That's appropriate, I guess. <laughs> it's one well, of America's. There's a tank on this one. It's just one of America's great <laughs> achievements. Oh, you know, yeah. tanks, the atomic bomb. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, what. What uh, America is known for, and um, this is so here's the safe break. house computer. You, you can um, read emails here. Um, they ha can sometimes have attachments, which can include equipment and money. I'm just um, giving everybody a chance to pause and and read if they want to pause and read. That, where did you download those funds to? Uh, it's like, um, I don't know, it's some kind of slush fund. Oh, so you have to accept it in, uh, whatever, video games. Yeah. Uh, so in some of the emails, you can reply to them, and you have the same stances option uh, okay. here with these replies. And um, in the same way, if you know who you're talking to and you know what stance they prefer, um, you'll get a 
relationship bonus uh, or a relationship negative. It's good mileage out of the conversation system. Yeah. Um, here's Darcy. He is talking about the specifics of one of the three missions you can do. Handler, but not a nanny. <laughs> yeah. And this one is talking about the Clearinghouse. The Clearinghouse is a black market internet weapons dealership on the dark net, presumably. <laughs> Capitalism beats racism and xenophobia. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> and um, this is where you acquire all your uh, weapons upgrades, all your equipment upgrades. Just I'm um, going to show off a little bit of this stuff. Um the attachments really um, provide a lot of stat differences. Um, you can get bonuses in some things, negatives in others. And then, of course, there's different armor. There's um, heavier armor for people who want to do shootouts, and there's lighter armor for people who want to stealth around, and there's also attachments that go into the armor. And those can reduce cooldowns. They can... They have a bunch of different effects. So the equipment is pretty important and it has a big influence on your build. Um, I like the variety. I I know it's not an RPG, but I, I, I appreciate big loadouts like this. Throughout the game, you'll get, um, you'll get access to different weapons dealers and they'll like friend you on Clearinghouse and you'll get access to their inventories. So depending on what you do, you might deny yourself access to certain equipment. There's also Intel here, and that has an effect on each mission if you buy it beforehand. Um, we're going to be doing the airfield, so I'll grab that a little later. With that clearinghouse stuff, like how it applies to the story, does it do do the choices that would suit your place, the, like I, ah, sorry, the speech choices that would suit your play style, does that tend to favor the clearinghouse? So, like, if you're brusque with people, you get cut off from the sneaking gear, but to get more assault wear and, and that sort of stuff? I'd say it's more generalized than that. It's more like if you kill more people, then they won't be alive to sell you There's things. No oh, okay, okay. So, the agency made me give this to you. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's always the sassy characters in these games that I like the most. That was needlessly hidden. <laughs> That's why I walked up to the other one of these in the house. Yeah, the one that was very, very clear, like, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they look exactly the same. Anyway, I'm going to put a silencer on my pistol, obviously. Pretty good. And then there's a uh, red dot sight. I, I kind of miss the classic silencer as it looks here in older films. New ones are always smooth and match the profile of the gun barrel. Yeah, that's. I think it's more realistic actually, but I don't know. It the newer ones are more realistic to what they're building now, but the old one has a kind of charm to it and makes it more visually distinct. I don't buy or use a lot of gadgets. I find I don't need them very much. Um. Would you say the gadgets more just complement play, or is it like Yeah, they're just little things that you can use in a pinch. There's like, um, you know, a portable health up, and there's... Um, there's like grenades and stuff. Um, there's the radio mimic, but I... I don't use them for much. I often find myself not knowing how to use gear like that in something like Splinter Cell and stick mainly to just the court gameplay. Hope you like that circle wipe. You're going to be seeing a lot of it. Oh, yeah. So, um... I just go through the uh, dossiers here real quick because I know there's, um... There's something that you get in the dialogue for this mission for being... Uh, it's for reading your handler's dossier. Uh, Hal 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 Halbeck is definitely not a reference to Halliburton. No, no, it would never be that. And and Al Samad is definitely not <laughs> Al Qaeda. 
It's, I, it's on the nose, and I like that. I like that they didn't just completely make up something else. But I, and I, I do understand why they don't want it to be in real world either. Well, you know, the U.S. military actually takes exception to some of those types of things. Yeah, I've heard about that too. Yeah, so there's um, there's a dossier one here, and then there's a mission map. I don't think I ever use mission maps. And then there's a sniper rifle dead drop, and what that does is there's just a there's a sniper rifle that's just in one place. Mike, enjoying Saudi Arabia? I've been keeping an eye on your mission. What do you think? I think you're lucky. All I'm seeing are satellite images. Guess that'll have to do. So I've read up on you. <laughs> really? Thinking about a career as a stalker. Isn't that what a handler is? Some truth to that. You used to be with the National Security Administration, right? Yes. But it didn't work out so well. I felt I wasn't doing much to make the world a safer place. So you signed on to Alpha Protocol? They contacted me, yes. And here I am. Talking to you now. Anything come up you need my help with? Can you tell me anything about Shahid? Not much more than you'd find in his dossier. His personal fortune doubled in one year when gas was $4 a gallon. And he likes feeling safe when he travels. What do you mean, safe? Well, al Samad is mostly untrained civilians using Cold War guns. His personal bodyguards are well-trained. And judging from the missile used on the airliner, let's just say he makes sure they have cutting-edge tech. Can you tell me anything about my mission here in Saudi? Probably nothing Westridge hasn't explained already. If you infiltrate the airfield Shahid uses, I may have more practical advice. Why is that? I'll be your handler for that mission. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. I know it's your first time infiltrating an airfield. As long as you're backing me up, I think I'll be in good hands. That's very optimistic of you, Agent Thornton. But I appreciate the trust. So you've been with Alpha Protocol a while, then? Not as long as Westridge. And not nearly as long as Parker. This assignment with Shahid is probably the biggest one I've been involved in. What other assignments have you been on? I went undercover with Parker in Milan as a contractor for Halbeck. It's how we found out the missiles were gone in the first place. <laughs> Although it was too late to stop Shahid. The incident with the airliner? We'll catch him and make him pay. Count on it. I hope so. I'm just worried he's going to take the missiles and go underground. If that happens, it might be years before he turns up again. He's not getting away. I'll hunt him down no matter where he hides. All right, Mike. But remember... The missiles are more dangerous than he is. Still, with Alpha Protocol, what I don't understand is why the United States would want to keep this operation secret. Don't they want Shahid captured? I think it's the missiles that are the problem. Helbeck's a substantial government contractor. The fact the missiles were involved complicates things. So we're cleaning up a Halbeck mess? Partly. But if word of the stolen missiles gets out, it'll hurt the United States even more. Alpha Protocol does a lot of operations like this. I don't know all of them, or all the names this program has had. It carries out missions without the knowledge of other U.S. agencies. Sounds like you have some doubts, Mina. No, 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 it's not like that. Not really. I mean, other agencies wouldn't approve, but that's not my call. The CIA, the NSA, most congressmen don't even have a clue this program exists. It's designed to prevent red tape. And if it's found out, it just gets buried and renamed. Renamed? a beta or gamma protocol? No clue. Parker probably does. He's been here the longest. Whenever it's in danger of being exposed, it closes shop and a new one opens up. Interesting. I guess that's good to know. wonder if I'd get a new name if Alpha Protocol shut down. I don't know. We might get new names, new identities. Or fired. This seems like a big assignment for a new hire. There must have been other candidates. There were other candidates, including Darcy. But the recommendation was based on Parker, Westridge, and me. Although when I made my recommendation, it wasn't about Shahid. It was about the larger mission. So why me? Because once you sink your teeth into something, you don't let go. It borders on psychotic or Neanderthal. But I think it's going to be your best trait. I'll take it as a compliment. You should. To be fair to Darcy, though, he has family issues that prevent him from going. Notably, his father. According to your dossier, your family isn't an issue. Is that all I am to you? A dossier? Until you arrived at Alpha Protocol, you were. Not anymore. 
I think you're someone who does what's right. And that's what I'm counting on. That's all I need. Thanks, Mina. You got it. Call me if you need anything else. Well, that would be beneficial. He's a, a protagonist that you're making choices for, so you want someone like that, but it... Uh, in certain areas, you want that... You, there's an assumption of behavior. Yeah, yeah, especially given how many different attitudes Thornton can take throughout the game. So, here we are. We're, um... We're gonna bug this airfield and see if we can find out when the bad guy, uh, Nasri, is gonna show up. That detection cone felt very Metal Gear, the way it was just, they're, how they're so visible, like the one down there. Yeah, yeah. The cameras, you can't break them either, it'll just set off the alarm. Good. Any way around it? I had that... a little trouble getting on that ladder for a moment. It looked like you had to really be facing it. Yeah. Might be able to find a way over it. Context sensitive controls. I don't care for them. I think you'd be surprised. Yeah, I feel like it's used all right in this game, but it's one of this game's rough edges. You definitely want to watch out for this guy because you can easily see you get up this ladder. Oh yeah, I see him there now. Yeah. And you definitely want to take out these guys who are up here. Because they will see you running around if if you don't deal with them first. That's their job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I was a little concerned about this guy's walk cycle. And of course the camera cuts off your clear path to him. Um, so did, did you take one of multiple sneaking routes it kind of looks like that yeah you can go around to the right as well but it's the harder one to pull off i guess moving through the middle here would be almost impossible if you hadn't dealt with that guard yeah it's more for the um for the running gun guy you know usually there's a there's a clear stealthy path and there's a clear um shooty path and um in this level, the stealthy path will take us up, and the shooty path would have taken us through. Really digging the ambient music still. Like it's, it's appropriate, but it isn't. It's not overwhelming. Does it? Does it kind of speed up when things get more actiony? Oh yeah. Um, cool. It switches to a whole other song, basically. Um, it can be tough to know that you can leap there. Yeah, it's, it doesn't seem... It, normally in a game, I'm not used to being able to move past a ladder like that in such a small space. Yeah, they're, they're so close together, the icon's easy to miss, but this is definitely the way to do it. You can bypass all this shit. Oh, yeah. Wow. So this um, this next part gave me a little, uh, a little bit of trouble. You will see the circle wipe of failure. <laughs> nice. That uh, indicates where I've edited out failed attempts. Um, I may do some failure reel stuff later, but um, we'll see. These guys are Nasri's elite guards, and you don't have to take them out, but if you do, they will not be in the final uh, mission for this chapter, and then you won't have to deal with them then. Ah, I like that. One less thing to worry about later. I'm glad they're, they, there's so much pathing and detail and like it does lend to the choices feeling impactful in that regard yeah um later on intel will m make more of a difference for that too this place is a little difficult to navigate in spots you'll see there's another circle wipe that was just me <laughs> fucking around not knowing where this door was was that just to speed it up then, or...? Yeah, yeah, just yeah, because I was, okay. like, walking around in circles. Um, but the camera... yeah, you can't go the other way over this fence, so, um... Does the camera feel tight when you play? Because it often gets... and feels like it's getting in pretty close to the character. Um, the camera feels alright, but it's definitely not something you want to do with a mouse. I'm buying another point of stealth here, and it gives me the evasion skill. Evasion is automatically activated um, if its cooldown is ready when you are seen by a guard. 
So it makes you invincible for just a mo- invisible for just a moment, um, which kind of lets you get away from one mistake. But its cooldown is long, so it basically gives you a very slim margin of error for stealth. It's just it's a mulligan. Yeah, and if you try to use it as a weapon, it won't work out usually. So it's not something you you're trying to plan around. It's just a backup. Yeah, it, it makes you it like and it, if you didn't know that a guard was there and it suddenly activates, you're like, oh shit, <laughs> there's someone I didn't see. Um, so it's useful. Um, this place is really annoying if you don't trank these guards. But it's it's kind of cool that you have this verticality opportunity so- here. Seeing a proper mission now, I'm. It, it really does feel like somewhere between this X and Metal Gear. Yeah, and the, the gameplay anyway. That is really cool to me. <laughs> it's basically everything I've ever wanted. I'm a big fan of both, so. So and slapping a Splinter Cell kind of Tom Clancy story on top of that is very pleasing to me. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a sucker for that kind of it's a, it's an almost imperial love of the American military and it, it's so genuine in Tom Clancy's work that I really love it. That guard up there on the tower, this is one of the towers that you can't deal with ahead of time. It's very easy for him to see you creeping between those cement blocks. I had to repeat that one a bunch of times too. Ooh. He's actually why I bought the evasion skill cuz yeah. You can get past him with the evasion skill. Um, that feels... It, it comes across as an intentional design decision to have your skill point kind of line up with a section that you could make use of it in that way. Yeah. Um, you might already have it a long time ago if you didn't play as a rookie, but... If oh, you're I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot, a, I forgot about that, yeah. Yeah, if you're playing as a rookie and you're not dumping all your points into stealth, you're fucking up. Well, it's your primary job, even if you want to shoot people. Yeah. And a lot of the stealth skills, like silent running, just come in handy anyway. And awareness, like, it's always good to know where the guys you want to shoot are, whether you're stealthing around or not. Yeah, there's a lot of these little hidden money bags and stuff. Some of them have dossiers, some of them have equipment and ammo. And um, the missions are littered with them. It's easy to miss some of them. Oh, that looked like it was going to be a jump point. Is this a drop attack? Yeah, I'm just being careful here because I know there's a guy right there. Ah. Um, I am going this way, but it's going to come back around. So nah. there's the circle fade of failure once again. <laughs> uh, I had to redo this a bunch of times, but um, it's a long, it's a long checkpoint and it's basically the, the climax of this area. So you're not able to work from quick saves. No, no quick saves. Oh, I see a clipping palm front. Yeah. Let's pretend we didn't see that. This game has its rough <laughs> edges, but I yeah, need I, to I know. forgive it in a lot of cases. Well, just for having a, a, like an actual story and branching speech, is, that's enough for me in almost anything. Yeah, I'll I'll, for, I'll forgive a lot more when it comes to the rest of the quality of case in point being New Vegas. Especially like this game has stealth gameplay that I find really fun, and um, it can be frustrating because it's difficult, but. You know, it's the good kind of frustrating. It's the Mega Man kind of frustrating. That's yeah. That's that's the same argument for Dark Souls. Yeah. It's the just the repetition is fun because you want to beat it. So there's where evasion kicked in, and when you see me do that throat punch as my, <laughs> um, as my like, what would you call that takedown animation? Yeah, CQC. Yeah, that that um, that means that. I just barely got it in, right? Like, he saw me, but I punched him in the throat before. To stop him from yelling. Yeah. (laughs) 
So that's like, I just barely accomplished that if you see that animation. It seems you found the awesome odd flight records. Can't wait to analyze these. So yeah, you can not go down here. <laughs> Another little touch of the Metal Gear was having the ammo fly out of him when he hit the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's very video gamey. I love those touches. I, I miss them in more realistic games often. Yeah. Um, up there is the, the the end of this mission. Unfortunately, this guy shot his gun, um, but nobody else was around to hear it. Not down here. He was the last guard on this floor, so... Lucky. Yeah. I had to punch him the hard way. So Maybe I didn't shouldn't... ghost this mission, but... Fuck it. I've been playing through Dishonored recently and getting very frustrated. Uh, bodies fall through the geometry. I can't tell if it's my GPU or just something normal in the game. But I want to hide a body to get the perfect, and there it goes. Yeah. But I, I, if I can ghost something or do a non-lethal run, or preferably both, I will always like aggressively repeat the mission until I can get it. I had already repeated this mission a few times, so... Yeah, I, uh, I, When the one guy saw me, but it didn't set off an alarm, I was like, okay, this is a no-alarms run instead of a ghost run now. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit of revisionism. Yeah, yeah. But, um... I'm okay with that. I, I'm glad that on hard, these early missions are challenging me enough. So yeah, and then you get the, the end of mission statistics. Um, some of your actions have effects that um, go into fur uh, future missions because I... Um, because I got the flight records, that adds some intel to, you know, the goings-on here in Saudi Arabia. No orphans, luckily. I yeah. love that. I love that step. It's really Mike, I see you made it back all right. <laughs> Nothing on the channel about any disturbances at the airfield. Well done. Get in, get out. They see me coming, I've already failed. Sometimes it's unavoidable. The security at the airfield was tighter than we expected. If this keeps up, we should be able to catch Shahid. And from there, recovering the missiles should be easy. I don't think Shahid will see me coming until it's too late. Is the bug transmitting? Loud and clear, no problems. We have Parker and some of the other analysts on it now. Shouldn't be much longer. All right, then. Let me know once you found something. Will do. And again, good job. So another level up here. Um... We're going to max out stealth, and that's going to give us the master awareness skill, which means our radar will always be on. And you want to get that as early as possible. Incredibly useful. Yeah. He's just sending out psychic thought particles to feel where they are. Yeah. <laughs> he's just, um, he's just so canny about how these things work that um it's it's like metal gear it's like how come the enemies can't detect snake's radar or see his radio yeah like you you yeah it just it, it you have to have that